Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Tuesday, July 2nd. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners with the Chicagoland Chevy Dealers. They are the official truck partner of the Chicago Bears and greater Midwest exteriors quality and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. Big news in baseball today. Tim Anderson, former White Sox All-Star, former American League batting champion, designated for assignment by the Miami Marlins. He had signed a one-year deal in February for $5 million. He had a rough final year in Chicago. He was let go by the Sox when they declined his $14 million player option, and he hoped to rehabilitate his image and his game playing down in South Florida. Not to be. Through 65 games, Anderson batting 214 with no home runs and only nine RBIs. He is now designated for assignment, which means the Marlins have 10 days to trade or release him. White Sox will take on the division-leading Guardians at Cleveland tonight. It's Flexen against Carrasco. I'll have a recap when that game goes final. Cubs currently in last place in the Central, but amazingly, as bad as they played, only five games out in the National League wild card race. Open a series against the best team in baseball, the Philadelphia Phillies in town at Wrigley Hayden. Wisniewski against Michael Mercado and no Bryce Harper and no Kyle Schwarber, both on the injured list. I'll have a recap when that game goes final. It appears that DeMar DeRozan's time in Chicago has come to an end. No, he has not found a new team yet, but once the Bulls made the decision to rebuild, his decision, according to those close to him, was made easy. We'll see where he ends up. Bulls actively trying to move DeRozan in a sign and trade, move Nikola Vucevic in a deal with Two years at $20 million each left on there. And Zach Levine, who reportedly Golden State now may be willing to re-engage. They were not willing to do an earlier deal that the Bulls had been proposing. Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electric. Story of the day. Rams wide receiver Puka Nakua was the breakout star in L.A. in 2023. And around the league at the wide receiver position, as he put it, he enjoyed his offseason and his newfound fame. However, he said he got a text message the Thursday before the Super Bowl from fellow Rams receiver All-Pro Cooper Cup. Hey, I'm starting back up on Monday morning. I know you might be out of town, but when you get back in, let's get right to it. He said, I'll be there. The harder workout started at 6 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The easier ones at noon, Tuesday, Thursday. They got weekends off. According to Nakua, at some point every day, for at least the first week, he threw up all over Cooper Cup's front lawn. He said, oh man, that guy's at a different level. But when he showed up at minicamp, Rams coaches and fellow players said, he looks like he's in the best shape he's ever been in. He has leaned out a lot. Uh-oh, because that guy was a beast the way he was. And finally, our Lou Malnati's question of the day. Go to LouMalnati's.com and find the location near you. Best answer to this question will win a gift card to take your family to dinner at Lou Malnati's. We are now here on July 2nd, just 28 days from the trade deadline in MLB. Do you believe the White Sox should trade Garrett Crochet and Luis Robert? Or if you're a Cubs fan, do you believe the Cubs should start to sell Best answer right here on YouTube. You're going to dinner at Lou Malmati's. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you greatly. See you for baseball recaps tonight. Take that.